Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning how to make a fruit ninja game in scratch 3.0. So now let's start. First we will draw some fruits which we will cut through. So you can duplicate this costume of mango and turn it to bitmap. And then just make a little drawing like it will seem as it is slashing through. So take the eraser tool and erase it in between. So it will look it is slashed by the knife and then you can give it a finishing look by keeping it away or making it rotated and cutting the edges which are not looking so neat and just rotate it a bit and place it where you want in the costume so it will look like we have cut through the fruit with a knife yes like this both the parts of the fruit and then duplicate it and put it another one like that and rotate it as it you want. I'll be rotating it something like this. The first one and the second one something like this. Now you can do this for all the spikes like the watermelon. You can do it like cutting through. I have done it. You can do it for all and also apple or any fruit you want and pineapple, orange etc like pineapple and orange and then you can also draw a knife or take it from internet so I have taken this knife and you can make sure that the center of the knife is near the blade so yes now let's do the coding and also you can take the bomb from the internet or even draw it and take the game over screen so now let's do the coding of the watermelon that means the fruits that means when the flag is clicked in the events we'll make a variable named score okay we'll set score to zero in the beginning and switch costume to watermelon the first watermelon which is not cut through in the beginning when the score is set to zero and go to a position like x24 and y 199 make sure the y is somewhere where it's hidden in the screen and also take the height block take the forever from control beneath the height block go to controls and take the wait second and we'll make it wait for some random seconds like we'll make it wait pick random 1 to 4 so it will wait for these seconds so we can change its frequency to as much as you want and take the create clone of myself block also so now when I start as the clone so take the block when I start as a clone from controls in another column and we'll make some variables again the first variable watermelon cut and question mark it's asking if the watermelon is cut so the first variable now set now you can hide this watermelon cut variable and set watermelon cut to zero when to no that means when the when i start as a clone set watermelon cut to no and also go to x 24 and y 199 now we will measure some like to the left of the screen extreme left of the watermelon and the extreme right so the extreme left is minus 184x so in the first one pick random one instead of one we'll take minus 184 so just copy and paste it there so minus 184 to now measure the right span and the right span is 187 so copy paste it now till now the coding is done and also add if on edge bound so it is visible to the screen or it will not be visible to the screen sometimes now take the show block so it will show the block and now we'll make it do the animation of going up and down that means it will be just throwing it up and then it will be coming down by gravity now take the repeat block and make it repeat 35 and change y by you can change y by 10 and also turn 15 degrees instead of 15 take the pick random block 0 to 15 so it will pick randomly turn degrees to the right 
and also take the if block underneath it with not underneath the repeat block and take two and blocks the first one and the second one and in the cells of the blocks in the first cell you can put touching mouse pointer and in this second one you can put mouse down that means if touching mouse pointer and mouse down and also one more and in the third hand you can put an equal to block and then in the first cell of the equal to you can put watermelon cut and e that question mark and equals to no that means if it's touching mouse pointer and mouse down and watermelon cut equals to no that means we wanted to do an animation if the watermelon is not already cut so we can make it start a sound start sound high whoosh so it sounds like a knife cutting through and also set watermelon cut to yes so it will tell the watermelon cut variable that it is already cut the variable watermelon cut so now change score by one that means that score will increase and also switch costume to watermelon one and we'll make it wait for a second for the animation go a smooth so 0 0.1 seconds and then duplicate it that means five costumes we have you can duplicate it five times so just right click on it and duplicate it so it will look something like this and also duplicate it more so now four and one last one removing the wait seconds switch costume to watermelon two and three and watermelon four and watermelon five so now it's an order animation now we have to make animation so it goes downwards also so now we have made the animation for it going upward now duplicate this whole thing from repeat thing and put it beneath here somewhere near the repeat one so instead of if block you can just duplicate the repeat whole thing and just change it and modify the coding for going down so just remove this so it looks a little clear and neat and put it beneath it like this and repeat 35 again and change y by minus 10 so it will go downwards this time and you can take these whole code to the other fruits so first before taking these we can just check out how it works so let's check out how the watermelon goes up and down now when it goes down it just stops so for that we need to increase the thing so instead of repeat 35 we'll take it repeat 40 that's enough so now like it will go like this and go down and down but again it's sticking to each other this time so we'll do some modifying so now yes we'll also take the delete this clone so if it's touching the edge it will delete itself so now it will not stick to each other and not be visible to the screen so yes now we can test it out so the watermelon animation would go like this bouncing up and coming down and disappearing so now it looks good now we can just drag these all codings into the other fruits like the apple the mango the pineapple and the orange so just drag it in all the fruits like an apple put it in the respective places so it looks neat and then drag it to mango the board the coatings and also to the pineapple so yes just drag it and put it in a way that looks neat so the thing we'll put it in pineapple and also in orange so just drag the codings to the orange sprite also so yeah now put it in some neat place so it looks the project neat in the orange in the apple the watermelon mango and pineapple 
now the uh, now we will change every value like this I am showing first we will create a variable again for the apple cut so apple cut we will make different variables for every food like mango cut pineapple cut orange cut apple cut so just make these variables mango cut apple cut pineapple cut okay and also orange cut don't forget to put a question mark so it will look like it's asking a question if the fruit is cut already or not if you don't make this variable the, we can cut through the fruit two times so that's wrong set apple cut to no and also remove watermelon cut question mark and put apple cut question mark instead also change everything like change set watermelon cut to yes just change it to set apple cut to yes and put the coding beneath and do the same for the under part which will go downwards like this and put it in the respective places set apple cut to yes yes and now this coding is done you can do the same thing for all these sprites for mango pineapple and orange and also you can just change its costume so the coding is this time this time not watermelon three and four and five so just change it to apple one two and three for the beanie path also we can do it like this apple apple two apple three and remove the things beneath it because there are only three costumes for the apple and do the same for the mango sprite and pineapple and orange now make sure the knife's blade is near the center so just drag it drag the center point to the knife's blade now we'll do the coding for the knife so when the flag is click take forever and then go to mouse pointer so when this click forever it will go to the mouse pointer now the knife coding is done now the bomb's coding. When the flag is clicked, switch costume to bomb and go to 24x and y minus 199 and hide itself. Now take the forever block like we did in the fruits. Take the forever block and then go to controls and take the wait second and change its frequency to 1 to 10 that will be fine not too frequent and take the create clone of myself block so now it looks the screen clear when i start as a clone from controls take the go to motions and take the go to block 24x and y minus 199 and pick random minus 100 to 100 and if on edge bounce and show and also repeat block and we can just drag these codings or just duplicate and put it in the bomb part because they both are somewhat like same but not totally same because bomb is dangerous and the fruits are not that means in the coding we can do that the, we can cut through the fruits but we cannot cut through the bomb if we do so the game will get over so the bomb is just like a suspense thing here in the game so now just remove the apple cut and that all sprites and just put touching mouse pointer and mouse down because we don't need a variable for cutting this and nothing underneath it just broadcasting a message called game over that will broadcast a message to the game over screen so broadcast message game over to both of them and then now let's do the coding of the game over screen first when the flag is clicked go to x0 and y0 that means to the center of the screen and then hide itself that means we don't want to show the game over screen in the beginning and when I receive game over, that means we cut through the bomb and it broadcast game over. Then when I receive game over, go to the front layer. That means it will go to front of all the sprites and show itself. So it will be shown. 
and you can see clearly that the game is over there and also stop the whole project until the green flag is clear now let's test out the project we can cut through the fruits like this orange apple pineapple mangoes and many fruits and if you cut through the bomb so be aware of the bomb thing or the game will get over and if you cut the bomb like this the game will get over also if you like the video do remember to like share and subscribe thank you for watching